Hey y'all, so it's been a long, long, long time, uh, a few months since I uploaded a video. And I just wanna let y'all know I am still here. Um, I'm six months pregnant now. Found out it's a girl, healthy. Thank you, Jesus. But um, these last few months has been trying, y'all. And God, as I'm driving to school, God just said, start 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 uploading your videos stop start uploading your videos so that's how i got here and um god put the word of discerning on my spirit discerning and i just wanted to tell y'all come on here and just tell y'all about discerning spirit right so growing up y'all remember or whoever don't i did not grow up in the church my parents never taught me about god my experience with god is way different god came looking for me i did not surrender and then finally once i did he had open arms and i've been having a relationship with the holy spirit ever since but growing up i had this cousin my favorite cousin kim she had a wonderful she loved i mean obsessed with obsessed with him she um used to always pray for a discerning spirit and i never used to like understand like what it meant like she used to always be like um god give me a discerning spirit give me a discerning spirit and um, I never knew why she used to always beg for that until so I got my relationship with the Holy Spirit. And then I did my own research and I started reading the Bible, getting close to the Holy Spirit and understood how important a discerning spirit really is on um, the journey, walking with God. Like a discerning spirit is like a must, like have, right? But it's a good thing. It's a blessing. It's a gift. It's a blessing, everything. But one thing I did not realize was also asking God to prepare you mentally, physically, emotionally, and spiritually to receive it. And then after you receive it, to accept it and be able to um, be able to know how to use it. Um, because God gave me the discerning spirit that I've been praying and I asked for, but I did not know what came with a discerning spirit what comes with a discerning spirit is a lot of heartache it's a lot of pain and people don't talk about it a lot but what i mean by it is okay once god delivered the discerning spirit to me gave me this discerning spirit blessed me with the discerning spirit i started seeing things that i never saw with my naked eye i started seeing i had a lot of snakes around me witchcraft woven sheep clothing false prophets around me and um it was people closest to me family and so it hurt it it hurt this this one this this person that god just exposed to me um is actually like a family member and she it, it was really hurtful to see it because this was somebody who got up in my house every day screaming hallelujah thank you jesus i'm blessed hall of favor oh god blah, 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 blah. girl and it was a serpent she she's a serpent she's a false prophet she's a woman sheep clothing she um is religious and i and i this is something that just recently through fasting and studying and everything that i came came to realize that there's a difference between religious and spiritual so somebody who is religious is somebody who you might see get up every day, go to church on Sundays, dressing real nice, but have no relationship with the Holy Spirit. Somebody spiritual has a relationship with the Holy Spirit. There's a lot of people that's in the church to this day, been there for years, swear up and down, they are sanctified, holified, but do not even know the Bible. They know the basics. No weapon formed against me shall prosper. I could do all things through Christ who strengthens me. Like they that's it. They don't they couldn't tell you nothing else. They couldn't tell you nothing else. And um they're lost. They're blind. And um you when you get your discerning spirit that you praying for, you will start seeing them for the fruits of their labor. And I'm telling y'all, like, um, 
the last few months I ain't been on here, I'm a, I'm not even gonna hold you up crying. I've been crying. It was like at one point I was crying every day, crying every day in my home, realizing like this this is real. Like you know, I when when I decided to walk with God and get a relationship with God with the Holy Spirit and stuff like that, no, and because I, I'm I'm doing it on my own. I'm not in a church. I'm not affiliated with anybody. I don't have no prayer group. I don't have no Bible study. I open the Bible and I read on my own. I get on my knees. I pray on my own. I I fast. I fast on my own. I do everything on my own. So I didn't have nobody to tell me and prepare me for what it is to walk down that narrow gate. You know, there's two gates, right? I used to be in the big broad one where everybody, where many follows and Matthews. I, God saved me and I went and now I'm in the narrow one. No one never ever prepared me to what it, it entitles. And that's why when you read the scripture, and I'm going to put it in the description box below, when in Matthews about the narrow gate, it says very few travel. And now I see why it's not easy. It is not easy. It's not easy. I, I'm telling you, the last couple months, I've been crying. I've been crying. I just been praying for um, strength. I just got out of a, another fast. This is a total of 120 days fasting. It's it 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 is draining. It is draining because when you start to get a relationship with the Holy Spirit, I'm not talking about getting up on Sundays and, and your Sunday best dressing good, and 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 going to church and screaming and and throwing yourself on the floor and paying tithes. I'm talking about actually fasting, sacrificing, getting up day and night praying before you sit over there and open up your app on instagram and facebook you go and you open your bible i'm talking about getting a relationship with god i'm telling you you, you he will start revealing that we are living in a spiritual world this is scary there's a lot of demons out here y'all and i know it sounds crazy some people are probably like oh da, da. but th those are people who have not accepted the holy spirit does not have a relationship with the holy spirit all they know is the bible they don't know nothing else they don't know anything about um walking with god like it, i'm telling y'all it's this it has true this year these last few months has been trying, and but I'm blessed. I'm going to be honest with you. No matter how much I was crying and all this like that, because it was a lot. It is It is a lot. It's not, it's not, I'm telling you, that's, I, now I see why not too many people do it. It is a lot. And um, it just, it's just, I, it's just mind blowing. The things that goes on around us. And a lot of people, when you before you pray for your discerning before you before you pray for your discerning spirit please ask him to make you to give to bless you with strength to receive it and then knowledge and wisdom while you have it because man a lot of things is going to get revealed a lot of people is going to get revealed a lot of um <laughs> it's relationships it's gonna get revealed. You you got some people right now. You got a lot of snakes in your home. I got a snake in my home. I did not know that was coming to kill, steal, and destroy. Witches, a witch. I'm telling y'all, this is something that my naked eye could never ever see. My mind could never ever imagine. It took for me to get on my knees and pray. It took for me to fast. It took for me to read the Bible to to see this. And it was going on in my house. And this is not the first time this person been in my house. This is the second time. And come for months. And I did not even know this person is, is literally a serpent. This person has no good intentions for me. It's all bad intentions to take from me, hurt me, dog me. And I've never done nothing to this person. And it got it took God had to reveal this. And I, I'm so grateful. I'm so grateful because I'm gonna tell y'all this much too. Right before the blessing comes the cleaning. You gotta make room for the blessing. And the cleaning entitles getting rid of some people. 
God will start revealing people for who they are because God is like, listen, honey, I'm not about to drop this blessing on your lap and you sitting over there with Satan because he ain't going to do nothing but take it. He ain't going to do nothing but steal, kill, and destroy. It's, it's going to be gone. So God will start clearing up people like I have a girl. Oh, I could, I could, the list can go on and on and on and on and on and on. I'm just here to tell y'all that, um, please. Prepare yourself for your discerning spirit if you really want it. Prepare yourself for it because it's not easy. It's not easy finding out that your mother is is a serpent. It's not easy finding out that your boy, the boy guy you've been laying with, is a serpent. It's not easy. But you know what? As long as you sit here and you and you pray and you ask for strength to receive it and, and, and accept it for what it is, because there's, I'm telling you, it's your own. It be it, in your own house. Y'all, I know some people like, duh, but yeah, it I had to read my Bible. I had to get close with God to realize this because I'm telling you, when I was walking in that big broad gate, that you don't see this. You don't see this. This is not what you, this is why I had to get rid of Instagram, y'all. That's another thing my, my spirit revealed to me. My spirit one day just woke up and was like, delete it, delete the app, delete it, like just delete it because I found myself waking up right going on uh the shade room i'm worried about what's going on in the shade room but meanwhile my children right here with me they healthy they waking up and i ain't i ain't thinking god meanwhile there's a mom somewhere crying because she about to bury hers and i'm worried about what kanye west talking about today cardi b ari no I, girl i had to delete that i had to delete that app because i said you know what i said listen i ain't about to block my blessings worried about what somebody else doing i gotta get myself closer to god like the moments when you caught caught you when you find yourself getting caught up in the world yo stop and that's a and i thank god for the reroute you know you be on a g um when you're driving with your gps and they be like oh reroute I thank God for the reroute and, and, and he don't keep me going on the wrong path. I thank God for the reroute like, uh-uh, this ain't what I'm supposed to be doing. Like, this don't feel right. This ain't sitting right with my spirit waking up every day and just turning on Instagram, like worried about what other people doing, looking at what other people doing. Meanwhile, my life ain't where, where it's supposed to be. I'm not living, I'm not living in my purpose yet. God is still working on me. One thing about the journey, one thing about the narrow path, honey, when you walking on it, your life is changing constantly your mind is changing constantly everything is changing around you constantly don't ever get comfortable walking down that path because that path is no come it got one thing about god is god is not a god that sit there and and, and blinds you a materialistic thing god will have you one day homeless the next thing you know you have here then you over here then you over there then you over and, and everything has a purpose and in the end you're going to be so grateful for it all every trial every tribulation every obstacle every every snake believe it or not you're gonna be grateful for every snake even the snakes you got to be grateful for them got to be grateful for them all you got to be grateful i'm just i just wanted to spread this word and let people know that um it's it's time that we start waking up because there's a lot of things going on in front of our eyes that even our eyes can't see it, it, it takes it takes a discerning spirit to see exactly what's going on in this world. And uh, I just thank God. I thank God. I thank my cousin Kim. I think, please, I'm so grateful. I'm so grateful. And I'm nowhere where I want to be, nowhere where I'm going to be in life. But I'm so grateful to be here, you know. And um, I got to continue uploading my videos. I've been gone for a few months. What, June, August, September, October, November. Oh, it's like, like three and a half months I've been gone. But um, don't worry. I'm back like I left something. And remember, God is good. And remember, he will never give you more than you can bear. Have a good day.